This video is to give you a tutorial on how to open and operate Microsoft Teams. So now I'm going to begin by sharing my screen so that you can see what I see as we go. So when you open your school device or your personal device, whichever you are using for virtual school, you should have the Microsoft Teams app already downloaded on your screen. If you have an SES device, it should already be there. And if you're using your personal device, I suggest that you go to the Microsoft Teams website and download the desktop app. It will make things easier to access for school. So you go to the app and you open it. And what you should see is this page right here. Now this page is the Teams page. On the left side of the page are your menu buttons. It'll take you to different areas in Microsoft Teams. You have any listed activities that happen, so when people are posting in other Teams, that information will post up here. Your chat buttons are here. Your actual Teams, which are your classes, are listed here. Underneath it is a quick reference to your assignments that have been given and also a button that says calendar. So beginning with the Teams button, when you click that, you should see all of the Teams or classes that your student is already added to. So if you scroll through, you might not have as many as I do, but when you scroll through, you should see all of the Teams that your student is involved in. In order to access that class, all you do is you hover over it and you click it and it will bring you to the general post page. Now this page is where all of the information of the classes will post once classes are in session. It will keep track of all the conversations that happen during class that are communicated in the chat box. Over here on the left side, you will see channels or pages that the teacher has created that students will be able to access during class. Across the top, the students have a menu button, menu buttons. The post is this main page that you see. Next to it is the files button. In the files tab, you will find folders created by the teacher where students can access information that they need. Class materials will probably be the main one that they see. Next is class notebook. Now this tab is probably the most important tab that students will be needing. This is their virtual binders. So when you click class notebook, students will be able to access all of their materials, all of their work that they will be working on during that lesson. Class notebook, like I said, is their binders. So there will be folders for the students to go to and find all information that they need as directed by the teacher. Now this is a demo class, so there are not any, there's not a notebook created here, but I will show you one class just to give you an idea of what the notebook will look like. Next to it is your assignments tab. Now this is probably the second most important tab that will be used in class. The assignments tab is where everything the teacher has assigned will be listed. And again, this is the demo class, so there are no assignments assigned in this particular class. But everything that the teacher has assigned for students to complete will post in this area. It will also include the due dates and the times of the deadlines for each assignment. You will also have a tab, any other tab. There may be a grades tab for students to keep track of their grades um, once the teacher has graded and sent them out. And any other folders or tabs that the teacher has created will be here as well. Now, to return to your classes, you come over to where your class title is and you go right above where the button it says all teams. When you click this button, it will take you back to this main page that has all of the classes listed. So now, how do you access meetings? How do you join meetings? How do you know when there is a meeting? If you go back to your 
menu buttons, you should see one that says calendar. And if you don't see it listed here, try clicking the three buttons at the bottom and see if it'll be listed here. But for us, it's listed here, so we're just going to click calendar. And when you do so, you should see your weekly glance of what your week will look like. Teachers have already created events or classes for each day. So it should already be downloaded into your child's calendar. So they should easily be, they should be able to easily access each class. So what you do is you look at the time and since school begins at 8 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m., your very first class should be at 8 a.m. So you should click the class, hover over it, click the class, and you will see this page pop up. This gives you information about who is involved in the class and when the classes meet. This information you don't need to pay attention to. What you need to pay attention to are these two buttons right here. This button will exit out of the event. And the other button, if I go back to it, will have you to join the meeting. So you will click the join button. When you do so, you will receive this screen. It is important to remember, you must have your camera on in order to be counted present in class. You also must have your microphone, this button here, turned off so that you will not cause disturbances as you enter into each class. Once you have made sure that your microphone is off and your video is on, you click the button that says join now. So I'm going to exit out of this meeting. I'm going to hit close. And you will repeat this process for every class that you will go into. So like I said, I was going to show you what an actual class looks like that's set up. So just a quick reference, if you go to assignments, assignments has each class as well listed and you can click the class and see, click next, and see what assignments has been assigned for that particular class. So we're going to go back to Teams and I'm gonna show you what one of my classes looks like. So I'm gonna pick my ELA class. And so now you see what an actual class that is active looks like. And in the post session, you see that for every meeting that we have, it keeps record of it. And so all the chat boxes are here. You will be able to see every piece of communication that happens in class. For files, you will see folders and important information uploaded by the teacher. Class notebook. So this is actually what you will see when you open the class notebook. This is the main page. It gives you information about what each part of the notebook consists of. This little arrow right here is very important. It'll take you to your actual binder. So you're gonna click that arrow. For Because this is the teacher class, the teacher view, I have all the folders of every student involved in my classroom. However, you will not see all of these folders. The folders that you will see will be this collaboration space, the content library, and one folder that has your student's name in it. When they click that folder, they will have drop down folders at the bottom that the teacher has pre assigned and already labeled for them. And throughout the lesson, the teacher will ask them to go to this folder to complete a task. Now assignments. To get to assignments, all you do is you click the assignments tab. Again, this is the teacher view, so you will not see everything that's here, but what you will see is the assigned section. And as you can see, the lessons are already put here. So the assignments are already put here, excuse me. It includes the title, it includes the due date and time, and it tells you if you have turned it in or not. For students, when they open the assignment, this is what it will look like for them. 
When they click the assignment, they should open it and be able to type into the assignment or follow the directions that the teacher has given. When they have completed the assignments, there will be a button on the right that says turn in. It is very important that they click that button because if they do not, they will not receive credit for it, even if it is completed. So for here, because this is the teacher account, I will not have that turn in button, but you most definitely will have a turn in button when you go and complete an assignment. So this was just a tutorial for how to open and operate Teams. So I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to return back to the meeting now. Um, a quick thing about meetings. When you're in a meeting, this is what it will look like. This button here is to show who is all in the meeting. This is the participants. It's the one that looks like people. And you can see who all is in the meeting. Right now it's just me. This square button here is the chat box. When you click this button, the chat box will appear next to you. And this is where students will be able to respond to the teacher's questions or respond to what the teacher has asked them to do in the chat box. Next to this menu button is the hand symbol. This is when students want to raise their hands and answer questions. As you can see, when I click that button, if I go back to the particip participants page, you will see that a hand is raised next to my name. That will notify the teacher that the student wants to answer a question. And then they click it again to turn it off. And when you're in the meeting, these are the most important buttons that you need to know. The camera button, here is your video. If you click it and there is no line, the camera is on. Hello. And if you click it again, that means the camera is off. And next to it is the microphone. If the microphone has no line, that means you're able to hear. And, without, and with the line, that means you're not able to speak. So this was just a quick tutorial of how to operate Teams, how to go to your classes, how to access your assignments, and how to access your class notebook. I hope that this was helpful for each one of you. Thank you.